Hello everyone. So here is a lesson support video for lesson 23 for Monday, January 23rd. There were a lot of students absent on Monday for the lesson. So I'm going to do a few problems today so you'll know what to do for your STAR workbook page. So we started off with talking about how we used to decompose a number in order to subtract. So this is a new or a different strategy for subtracting bigger numbers. So I have 105 minus 90. What I want to do is decompose, that means to take it apart, and I want to decompose 100 out of 105. Remember how we used to pull out a 10? Well, this time we're pulling out 100. So I want to pull out 100, and then I look at what's left behind, and a 5, it's all that's left. So 105 is decomposed into 105. The reason why I put 100 over here is because now I can circle this, and I see 100 minus 90. And 100 minus 90 is 10. And then I'm going to add these two parts back together, and I'll write it down here. 5 plus 10 equals 15. So 105 minus 90 is 15. So we'll do a couple more for practice, and you'll do all of them the same way on your workbook pages. We're going to have a problem where we decompose, pull out a hundred, and then we will put the other part here. So let's try this one. 121 minus 90. At any time in the video, if you need to stop it and go back and listen to it again, that's absolutely perfect. That's what you should do with the lesson video. All right, 121 minus 90. I want to decompose the 121. I want to pull out 100 just like I did before. Pull out 100. And then when I look at 121 and I pulled out 100, I see that all I have left is 21. And now I'm going to subtract these two parts. I'm going to subtract 90 from 100. And remember, the largest number always goes first when you are subtracting. 100 minus 90 equals 10. And then I want to put back these parts together. So 21 plus 10, or you could write it 10 plus 21, it doesn't matter. 10 plus 21 is 31. So 121 minus 90 is 31. All right, I'm going to do one more for practice. And I'm going to work on this page right here, same paper. I'm just going to draw a line so that it separates the problems. And this is the third and last one that I will do for practicing this new skill. The difference between this and the other ones is that for this, we are pulling out 100, always pulling out 100. So this one is 156 minus 80. Now for this problem, I'm going to pause, and that means that you who are listening to this, you do the work, and then I will provide the answer. All right, decompose 156 into those two numbers. And hopefully you wrote 100 and 56. 
You can also pause the video, do the work, and then turn it back on again. All right, next step, I'm going to circle. I want you to write down those numbers that you are subtracting. And did you write 100 minus 80? And 100 minus 80 equals 20. Last step is to put these two parts back together. So again, the last step is to put these two numbers back together by adding them. And you will write 20 plus 56, and your answer goes here. And that is 76. It's the same process every time. Decompose, pull out 100, subtract, and then add this number back in with this part, and you have your final answer. I hope you found that helpful. Thank you for listening. Have a fabulous day.